drunk down at the end of the bar says, Yeah, I'd like to try, but I don't think I can keep my mouth open that long. <laughs> uh, oh, hello. I didn't see you there. I was just getting ready to talk about short reset trigger systems and double action single action service pistols when you stumbled across this video. So let's go ahead and do that. In front of me I have two full size all metal service pistols both with double action single action triggers that have been enhanced. In the case of the Sig Sauer P226 this particular model of the P226 ships with the SRT trigger from Sig Sauer. The CZ75 SPO1 Shadow Custom in the right corner uh, has had the SRTS added to it after the fact by the CZ Custom Shop at czcustom.com down in Arizona. So let's let's compare the two. Let's start with the Sig Sauer P226. I think it's a pistol that most of the, most of us have at least heard of. Uh, you can see that the chamber and the magazine well is free of exploding debris. Uh, this is the TAC Ops version, in particular in 40 Smith & Wesson, that's not necessarily pertinent to the discussion, but uh, among the features it comes with over and above the standard P226 is the short reset trigger. So let's investigate that a little bit. Uh, this is a great pistol. Uh, U.S. Navy SEALs use it. I have a friend in law enforcement who uh, has relied on the P226 or the P-Series SIGs. Uh, professionally for a long period of time and he's absolutely enamored with the SRT trigger as am I and you'll see why by you know by itself it's a pretty thick pistol you got a pretty thick grip to accommodate a double you know high capacity double stack magazine uh, but it's pretty ergonomic and it's just the girth of it and the length of this double action pull can be a challenge for people with smaller hands, I guess, or maybe weaker hands, uh, not to pass judgment, but come on, with the hands, let's go, hit the gym, do you even lift, bro? Uh, the short reset trigger, really, the benefit comes after you pull, the, you know, in the single action, and after, you know, your follow-up shots, but let's, let's go through the whole double action pull, just for the sake of uh, being complete. Okay. It's a strengthy pull. It's a little heavy. Um, nowhere near as heavy as, say, a Breda 92 FS from the factory, and and probably not as heavy as a great number of uh, double action, single action pistols out there. I'd put it probably in the nine ish. Nine, I don't know. I don't. I'm not really an expert this way, but uh, it's lighter than my Breda was. It's it's, uh, it's not the lightest trigger I've ever pulled. It's a fantastic break though. Even pressure all the way through to the break, and then a nice. A nice clunky break. I mean, you feel it, right? It's got a lot of feedback. Now, this is an aluminum framed gun with a steel slide. I don't know if that aluminum, the lighter weight frame, helps that, that trigger action resonate through it um, better or not. I really don't know, but I, I, it really is a significant amount of feedback you get with that trigger break. Okay, that's that's the that's the double action pull. It's it's not bad. It's length, it's lengthy, thick grip. It could be challenging for people with smaller hands. When you cock the weapon and you see the, that now we're in the single action mode, the trigger resting spot is considerably further back, you know, much easier for people to access. But um, again, you know, the double action isn't necessarily a problem for me, it could be for some people. What you see in the single action pull is a significant amount of take up, you know, it's zero pressure take up, a strong breeze could probably take care of this take up for you. Uh, just, you know, the pressure of the finger is enough. Uh, but there, you know, it is not an insignificant amount of movement. Once you hit resistance, it's just a short bit of movement. <sighs> Crystal clear break. It's a really fantastic trigger. Uh, so you got, cock it one more time. You got that uh, initial take up. Just a small bit of movement under pressure, probably in the four plus pound range. It's really nice. Let's try it one more time. Take up, pressure, break. All right, let's go ahead and cycle slide. Check out that reset. Oh, quick, quick reset, bam, break again. Man, this is a fantastic trigger. If your SIG P226 at home does not behave like this, you are doing yourself a grave injustice. I would take your P226, find your favorite shipping container, ship it back to SIG, pay them a chunk of change, and have them add the SRT immediately, immediately. It's a, it's a fantastic trigger, it really is. Is it better than the custom short reset trigger system 
uh, installed in the CZ75 SP01 from the CZ Custom Shop. Let's see. This is the CZ75 SP01 Shadow. Also free of, you know, detonating debris. Let's go ahead and start with the double action pull. Now, what you'll notice is this is also a really lengthy double action pull, but one of the differences here is that uh, this is a thinner grip. You know, the distance between where your hand engages the frame and the trigger well is probably about the same. I mean, I don't have, uh, I guess I could measure that, but it's not, certainly isn't significantly longer, but it is significantly thinner. And this is a double stack magazine too. Now, a little bit less. Uh, I think the, if I were to compare the TAC Ops version with the extended magazine and 9mm, that's a 20 plus 1 arrangement. Here in the CZ75 with the extended magazine, you're looking at an 18. Some say you can get 19. Uh, plus one, so a little bit less firepower maybe in the pistol by default, but it's a significant, you know, for a relatively insignificant difference in capacity, we have a pretty significant difference in in grip thickness. Okay, but the long trigger pull, all right? How's it how's it fair? There's a little bit of take up, right, before you get any any resistance. Bam. Lighter. It's it's certainly lighter than the than the Sig SRT. Uh, probably by a pound or more. Uh, maybe not quite as even. I imagine this is a brand... Now, I've got f probably close to a 1,000 rounds through that P226, uh, whereas I have yet to shoot this one. But um, So just the factory and custom in the custom shop uh, firings have occurred. So maybe that'll smooth out a little bit over time. But you can see it's, it's got a little bit of... Uh, it's not quite as smooth, but it is certainly lighter and it's fast. Uh, the reach is a little bit easier uh, given the thickness of the grip. So that's important. All right, let's go to single action, shall we? There's the resting spot for the single action trigger pull after the SRTS is on the. Without that, I think you have a much longer trigger pull, but it's all creep. It's all take up. Or ma the majority of it's take up. Here, this is the take up we have now. You see that? Almost nothing. I made that noise for your benefit. Almost imperceptible. Yes, perceptible, but so minimal. That's... Oh, I accidentally shot it because the trigger's so damn light. Okay, so let's try again. Oh my god, that's a light trigger. That is under four pounds, easily. Uh, probably under three, maybe? Ugh, effortless. The only way it'd be easier to pull this trigger is if I could do it with my mind. It's really light. Oh, that's a super light trigger. Okay, let's check the reset. Okay, maybe a little bit more travel to get the reset than you do in the SRT. I don't know. It's hard to tell with the thinner profile trigger. Oh, but that's so gorgeous. All right, let's go one more time. Oh, that's a good, good trigger. All right, well, if I had to pick one of these triggers over the other... Uh, they're both fantastic, and you should have either one of them in your in your respective firearm. Uh, I I think I still go with the CZ75 SP01 on the trigger. Now, again, I expect it to smooth out a little bit more after multiple firings. I plan to put a lot of rounds down range to this pistol over time, but uh, the edge goes to the CZ75 SP01. Both fantastic triggers, though. I can't recommend either one enough. Uh, thank you for stopping by, and hope you learned something here. Again, if you have either one of these pistols, pursue short reset trigger immediately. Take care.